All right, this video will cover the procedure to adapt a fabric or soft collar to a Garmin PT6 or PT10 dog training receiver. Fairly straightforward. You only need a couple of tools, a pair of scissors, a lighter, a razor blade, maybe a set of bolt cutters to cut the D-ring off of the fabric collar. The key piece is on the actual receiver itself, you have the first, second, and third shoulder strap. The third shoulder strap from the factory has less clearance than the other three shoulder straps. I'm not 100% sure why. All we have to do is create clearance with that receiver strap so that the, the regular fabric strap can fit in. So what I do is I just take a razor blade and I come underneath and I scrape the loose part off. And you'll see how much comes off. So once you've done this a couple of times, the molding that wasn't cut off at the factory comes off. You'll see all these little pieces that were not trimmed off at the factory. It works fine with the biotane strap. With the fabric strap, it doesn't create enough clearance for it to go through. See all these little pieces. All it is is the mold. Once that's done, the fabric strap should slide in with no problem. It'd be a little tough to see. But you can see the first shoulder strap and then the second shoulder strap behind it now has about the same level of clearance. All right, right there. I just wanna set that down. Now we have to create the fabric strap. So I've cut off the D-ring, pulls right off. Where the buckle strap is itself, there's a loop. I'm gonna cut off one piece of that loop that's sewn together. And then cut that tab off. To form that type of angle. Once I have that angle, I'm gonna burn the ends then very quickly smooth them off. So you might see some of these little plastic frays, but now it should slide into that collar shoulder strap without a problem. I'll take off the plastic tab. Now I'm gonna go in from left to right. So down the first one, pull it through until it stops. I'm going to the second one. Pull it through. On to the third one where we created the clearance. It now slides through with no problem. On to the fourth one. Pulls up. Once we have that done, we're going to take the loose end, slide it through the plastic tab. Now, here's a unusual part. This goes against the way that it was originally assembled. We're going to loop it from the outside in. And then pull it from right to left. See, I made it to the strap on the right side and I'm gonna feed it in that plastic tab from right to left. Pull it down. And that's the finished product. The reason why I do that is if I pull, it doesn't loosen. If I feed it from left to right and I pull, it will slide. But if I feed from right to left and pull, it stays tense. So now 
This strap for a dog that will wear the electronic collar for a longer period of time will be significantly more comfortable, much nicer to look at, and if you're one of the families that likes to decorate your dog at different times of the year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, 4th of July, birthday, whatever, Blue Pine Collars from New Hampshire has about 35 different patterns for males and female dogs. They come in a three quarter inch wide strap that will adapt to the PT6 and or the Delta XC receiver for your dog. Makes it a lot more comfortable, a lot nicer to look at. Hope this helps you.